The U.S. is in a much compromised position with its election cycle of 2024. However, while Harris is trying to win the elections, there is a high chance that Trump is trying to start World War III. In addition, the most sinister thing is that he straight out said it himself. He was very clear about his intentions when at a rally in Ohio on March 16th, 2024, he said, If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Currently, his motto behind running elections is to make America great again. However, this motto has its definition because the America in Trump's vision is not what you will imagine for future generations. Before we talk about World War III and Trump's role in making it a reality, let us look at what is happening in the US right now. Right now, the most viral trend out of the 2024 election is of people pretending to cook their dogs. Scroll on any app and you will find video after video where dogs are in cooking pots or in front of TV listening to Trump. Now the funny thing is not the dogs, but the former president's voice in the background. You can hear him specifically saying, They're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. He made these comments during a presidential debate on Tuesday, September 11th, 2024. Speaking against Harris, he said that her and Biden's efforts in improving and allowing more immigrants in the U.S. have compromised the safety of the country, to the point that even the pets of the U.S. residents are not safe. His claim was targeted at the Haitians. As soon as he said it, the Americans divided themselves into two groups, those who believed him and those who didn't. Now the crazy part is that the debate moderators quickly debunked this by fact-checking with the city manager. Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. They confirmed that Trump was not right in his claim. There were no reports of Haitians eating pets like dogs or cats in Springfield, Ohio, as he had claimed that they did. To this, he said that there are videos of the residents on the internet talking about this issue. And there are videos. One video even shows a woman eating a cat high on drugs. But there's a twist. The woman in this video is an American lady from Canton. She is not from Haiti. What did you do? Why did you kill the cat? Stand up. She said she killed two, two. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. Someone got rubber gloves. She's covering blood. But what about the rest of the videos where Springfield residents are complaining that Haitians are eating their pets? So my mom was out walking her dog and she passed by, saw that a black cat was severed in half. My mom actually seen, seen a post on Facebook. There was Haitians in a white van driving around the neighborhoods collecting cat. For what? Skinning them and eating them. Listen, I am not Haitian, but I am from the Caribbean. The Haitian immigrants are indeed eating animals. Not only are they harvesting cats for food, but also for witchcraft purposes, voodoo purposes. Uh, there was a van load of a uh, van pulled over that had over 100 cats in it with the Haitians. They said they was eating them. Actually? Yeah. Not fake news. Not fake news. Those are arranged, made, and made viral by Trump himself. It was all a part of his strategic campaign to divide the Americans. Throwing Haitians under the bus, his campaign runners organized these videos to give Trump's claim a solid base. Right now, the vice president candidate is James David Vance in case Trump wins the election of 2024. He is an American politician, author, venture capitalist, and Marine veteran who has served since 2023 as the junior United States Senator from Ohio and he is the major person behind stories of Haitians eating dogs and cats. In his interview, he confessed to this, a slip of the tongue, and the truth was out. He said that if false and fake stories are needed to make America great again, then there is no harm in creating them. This comment shows the wrong and dark sense of morals that the Trump group has right now. They do not care about the truth, they just need to do the maximum damage possible. Even though many people are mocking Trump for this racist and biased comment and claim, which was baseless and debunked within minutes, 
There are so many Americans who believe him. People are coming out to say that they see Haitians killing ducks and geese from parks to eat, and the numbers are so many. Every videos and posts have comments on these claims. There is a high chance that these are organized by his campaign as well, but with the internet, you never know. When J.D. Vance slipped on the truth, he was instantly torched by the likes of Josh Shapiro, an American lawyer and politician serving since 2023 as the 48th governor of Pennsylvania for his compromised ethics. So while the comments keep pouring, it's worth noting that these claims are baseless and have been widely debunked. Now do you know how or why World War III will start? Springfield is a town of 60,000 people, and there are currently 20,000 Haitians allowed to stay here as immigrants, thanks to Biden-Harris policies and initiatives. According to these, there are no borders, not between countries, people, or races. And as lovely as this sounds, it is the fuel of doom. There should always be fixed borders. Take Springfield's example. Now with an influx of immigrants, the residents' state of living has also drastically been affected. The true American residents of Springfield, Ohio are competing with the Haitian immigrants over the same resources and jobs, and failing at it. The jobs that were offered to the people of Springfield to combat the rising poverty were 8,000 in number, and all these were filled and taken over by the migrants. So even if these people are not eating cats or dogs, their rising number in America is a threat to Americans. Unfortunately, people are not able to see this. Guess they are too busy making mockery videos of their dogs being cooked by them. What do you think will happen when the Springfield residents get tired of losing jobs and resources to outsiders? There will be aggressive killings and shootings. Both sides will fight for what they think is their right, and the issue will go on to a global level. In no time, people will witness a war like never before, thanks to nuclear power weapons. And Trump is playing a major role in this because he is planting this divide. He is pitching people against people based on their differences. There are better ways to control the influx, like creating better policies, but that is not the angle he wants to take. Another point of view in this entire situation is that Trump is as much a victim as common Americans. It is possible that his intentions are not that bad. He truly wants to make America great again, but maybe he is being played as a puppet by someone else. Someone who, though? Well, the most obvious answer is the media, news channels, and his election rival, Kamala Harris. When you look at their debate, you will see her constantly laughing at him to fuel his anger and make him seem like a fool. Even when Trump has a good point, she laughs it off as a joke. Throughout the debate, Kamala lied, and the moderators did not even bother to fact check her like they did Trump. In a tweet, Liz Wheeler, an American conservative political commentator, author, and podcast host, pointed out all the things that were lied to by Harris and not fact checked by moderators. For instance, late term abortions. She said that there is no late term abortion option for women in the USA, but that's not true. In so many states, women are having abortions at the ninth month of their pregnancy. The baby could be due for delivery the next day, and the woman is allowed to have an abortion. Worse is the fact that even post-birth abortions are a thing. In many states, women can abort their children after their birth. The cover story behind this is that these babies are born deformed with physical and mental deformities, or that the women are rape and assault victims. Even if so, why not get ultrasounds or abortions when the pregnancy is in the first stages? Harris also lied about crime data when she said that America's crime rate has decreased after Trump became a former president. But the truth is that it has not, only that the news channels and other media have stopped reporting and covering it. Heck, the officials who cannot interfere in the crime scene don't even care about reporting it. You have Walmart's example on top. Every year, billions of revenue are lost because people are stealing from Walmart openly in front of the security and Walmart staff, without any concern. Then she also lied about Project 2025, saying that it would be the doom of America, with Trump being the brain behind it. What you're gonna hear tonight 
is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected to again. I have nothing to do, as you know, and as she knows better than anyone, I have nothing to do with Project 2025. Uh, that's out there. I haven't read it. I don't want to read it. In reality, Trump never started this project. It was assigned to him while he was the president, but it was never his projection. If Harris wins the election, she will be taking care of this project as part of her duties. One more thing, the whole presidential debate for election, 2024, was set in the favor of Kamala. The moderators asked philosophical and complex questions to Trump for which there was no definite answer. But in Harris's turn, the questions were short with literal yes or no answers. For example, Trump was asked who he wanted to win the Russia or Ukraine war. His answer was that he wanted the war to be over. He did not side with any country. However, the moderators highlighted this as his attempt to dodge the question. If Harris wins, and there are no borders left to defend America from the rest of the world, say goodbye to your land. Already, there's a fight going on between Israel and Palestine. When Palestine opened its borders to Israeli refugees, no one predicted that an influx of migration would follow. Now, Israelis are taking Palestinian land as their own. The same fate will await America. Can you imagine Haitians claiming Springfield as their land? This brings us to another point. Trump never actually mentioned Haitians in his debate answer. He simply used the pronoun they. It was the moderators and Kamala who pitched Haitians to this answer, and the whole internet went mad within minutes. It was not the best debate by the former president, but keep note that he was thrown off his track because his rival and the moderators ganged up on him and shaped his answers by shaping their questions. Now the Americans who are watching this debate think Kamala is the best. She is the most demure and most mindful, they think. But what they don't know is that she has a history. Throughout her career, she's been involved in corrupt schemes, and she's put people in jail to rise up higher in the politics. Now that Trump is her rival, she's doing the same again. Having borders and protecting your country from foreigners is common sense. It is not extremist or racist behavior. Besides, politics are not playtimes. Americans need to vote for a leader who is firm on what's right for the country, not a person who they find charming and like for their personality. The policies need to be judged based on their outcomes, not the glitter and glamour that they promise. When you think about it, America is not in a compromised position with election 2024. It is in a very privileged position. The Americans have both seen the work of Trump and Harris. They know how these rivals are in office and how America grows under both. The policy making and overall governing of both these have been put to the test too many times for Americans to doubt who is the better option now. If you talk about facts, the people were richer and safer in Trump's times. Firm borders will only stop the influx of migrants. It will not put an end to migration. With everything that's hanging on to the election of 2024, people cannot afford to take risks by choosing a president based on personality. The strategy behind the Harris campaign is to make her seem like a worldly person, loved by everyone for her smarts and charms. No one is questioning the policies that she is proposing or the lies that she is telling. In all her interviews, she talks about her poor upbringing and inclusivity and acceptance towards people of other countries and races. Against this, a simple older white man like Trump has no chance of winning unless the people wise up and see through the lies. The whole world's fate hangs on the US election because World War III is looming large. What do you think about Trump's actions in rallies and debates? Do you think he is a puppet or a puppeteer? Post your thoughts in the comments. Do share this video with the rest of America.